good morning. <laughs> it is currently 3.30 in the morning. I am up and getting ready to go to Greece. So we're gonna get on uh, my first flight and fly to Jersey. And then there I will meet my mom and her friend Gina. And then from there we get on to the flight for Athens. So I will keep you guys updated um, on my travel journey. updating you to let you know that we have officially made it. We are here in Greece and right now for the next couple of days we are staying with my great aunt and uncle who live in Zilo Castro which is a small little like beachfront town on mainland Greece and it is the cutest little town. I'm absolutely obsessed. First I just want to like point out this view that we have from we're staying with my aunt and uncle. This view is everything. So this is where we're staying for the next couple days. This is their little like condos. And there is the ocean, or it's the Gulf technically. It's the Corinthian Gulf. So you can see there's like mountains on the other side. It is absolutely beautiful. I mean, the water is crystal clear. Absolutely stunning. And there's a little pool down there as well. Um, but this is where we are staying for the next couple days. This is our room that we demolished. We actually landed here in Greece yesterday and I did not film much of anything because we were so violently jet lagged. Like, it was bad. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what we got going on. So this is the view from my aunt and uncle's little apartment here. So pretty, there's cute little restaurant down there on the waterfront. We've got all these plants, just a nice little setup here. So we are all getting ready to go out to eat for lunch. We're gonna get some seafood because that is what they are known for in this little town. So I will keep you updated on that, but I'm really excited. We're gonna drive like 20 minutes out of this town, um, go to another little one called Kiato. And that's how we're going to get our seafood. that we wound up going to for lunch this day. A few of my aunt and uncle's lovely friends from their apartment building joined us for lunch as well. And then we found this adorable dog who was just looking for a meal. He was a very good boy. Here are a few highlights of some of the delicious food we had at lunch. And these little fried fish were interesting to say the least, but maybe a little too exotic for me. And this was the main course, and probably one of the best meals we had in our entire trip to Greece. This cod was just so fresh, and the butter that went on top, absolutely delicious. And of course we had to give some of our scraps to the doggy because he was just looking at us so nicely, and he was thrilled to lick our plates clean. And then it unexpectedly started raining super hard, which to me was quite a treat because I live in the desert and I almost thought that I may have forgotten what rain really was. 
but it was still absolutely beautiful, even with the rain pouring down and the wind blowing. And then after a wonderful lunch with my aunt and uncle and their amazing friends, we headed back home to Zillo Castro for a little bit of a nap after all that food. <laughs> Alright, we've got these little Greek cookies. There's these ones, I don't know how to pronounce, but they look like Oreos, kind of. They're a sandwich biscuit with chocolate flavor, which to me sounds like Oreo. We've got these ones, which my mom already took a bite of, and it is cookies with orange. Yeah, there's also a little Greek cereal here. A little Kellogg's Extra. And it's fruit and nut. So we have a little Greek milk and Greek orange juice. So that's the milk. And that's the orange juice. But we're gonna try these cookies. I mean, my mom already ate the orange ones, so. What was your verdict on that? The glasses are over there to the cat if you want milk. It's very good. Right. It's kind of simple. Just a light orange flavor. Mm. Yeah. It kind of tastes like a sugar cookie with a hint of orange. Yeah. So this is our biscuit cookie with chocolate or something along those lines. Chocolate flavored. Yeah. Kind of Oreo-like, but it's chocolate all the way through. It's not as sweet. Yeah. These are cookies less sugar. <clears throat> it's just not a bad thing. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Well, mm -hmm. those are our Greek cookies that we've got. morning vlog. I did not film the rest of yesterday because it ended up just being pretty casual. We just relaxed by the patio and just enjoyed our view and we ended up going out to dinner getting some Italian food so nothing super exciting to report but this morning we all have gotten up and we are ready to go and today we are going to be driving to Corinth which is about like 40 minutes from where we are right now in Zillow Castro and Corinth is where Paul from the Bible. He visited the Corinthians and that's where he wrote Corinthians. So it's all ancient ruins and all that stuff. So we're going to be checking that out today. So stay tuned and see what, what we get into. It is so crazy to think that all of this was once a part of an ancient civilization. I found myself wondering what it must have been like to walk through these streets when it was once in its former glory. And it still completely blows my mind to think that all of this was built thousands of years ago, way before we had the technology that we have now. After a wonderful couple of hours in Corinth, we headed back home to Zillow Castro. Uncle Jim came with us to Corinth, but Aunt Angie had some errands to run, so she met up with us for lunch, and we strolled through their cute little town until we found this nice restaurant where everything was pretty much served cafeteria style, uh, but the food was just absolutely amazing, like every other meal that we had here in Zillow Castro. While walking around Zillow Castro, we found this abandoned building that reminded me so much of Donna's villa from Mamma Mia. I just had to get a video of it. And of course, 
course, after lunch, we had to snap a picture of the five of us all together, just capture our wonderful trip and getting to spend all of this quality time with loved ones. So tonight is our last night in Zillow Castro before we head off to Mykonos. So we're gonna go down, there's a little, can't really see it from here, but there's a little like cafe bar um, right across the street that is like right on the ocean. Um, and we're gonna go check that out and then go meet up with my aunt and uncle at their place just right across the hall um, and visit with them for a few more hours uh, before we leave tomorrow. And today has been a good day. We went to Corinth, we had a great time. Um, it's funny because before I left, uh, my grandma, who let's just, to put it simply, she is not like other grandmas. <laughs> and so she asked me before I left to bring back the weirdest thing I could find. And let me just say, I think I might've found it. I don't think I can even show you <laughs> in this video. I think that YouTube might flag it. Um, but essentially, um, let's say it's just has a few interesting appendages. But yeah, so that's what's been going on today. Overall, our few days in Zillow Castro were full of great food, amazing company, and we've made some memories to last us a lifetime. Zillow Castro not only met my expectations, but far exceeded them, and I cannot wait to come back. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I appreciate your support so much. Tune in to my next video to watch us travel to the beautiful island of Mykonos.